God, praise God. I pray that you are having a blessed night in the Lord. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Praise God, praise God. God is good. Yes, he is. So I wanted to do a part two of we're in this war. And I want you to know something. I was talking to somebody and they said something that was very powerful. Somebody that actually went to war. Um, they said, you know, in war... You got to, you know, this is powerful. I want you to catch this. Go ahead and make sure that you can hear me, see me. Praise God, praise God. This is powerful. I'm getting ready to say, go ahead and press share. Um, tag this, somebody that you know that is just for struggling right now. You know, frustrated, just weary, tired. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. But I want, I want to tell you about war. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Thank you, Miss Cynthia. I appreciate you. In war, you have to understand something because a lot of people don't know how to understand and how to really, really maneuver in a spiritual war. In spiritual war, you not only have to watch for the enemy in front of you, but you have to watch for your own men behind you. <laughs> Y'all ain't ready for me. You got to watch for the people behind you because guess what? It may be somebody that, ah, come on, somebody, hallelujah. I'm just being real. You understand what I'm saying? Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. You got to understand what war is. You got to watch all around you because you don't know. Come on, because you in a war, a spiritual war. But hold on. Ephesians 6 says, but put on the whole armor of God. Most of you don't have on the armor because guess what? You're spending too much time on Facebook. you spend uh, gossiping. Girl, who cares? You don't hear what I'm saying. Let me tell you something. I was in the store tonight and this guy said, he was actually talking negative. He was like, yeah, yeah, you know, I, I just feel like giving up. I said, for what? I said, there's hope in Christ Jesus. He said, and then he, he, he became alive, you know. Let me tell you something. There's hope in Christ Jesus, but hold on. You have to do your part. And I'm going to tell you what's happening. A lot of people are not doing their part. You're not getting in your word. You're not fasting. You're not praying. I'm talking about praying, praying, praying. You don't hear what I'm saying. Hallelujah. Let me tell y'all what happened one night, and I'm very serious. One night I was praying on my knees, and I, con I really just fell asleep. Just fell asleep. The Holy Spirit woke me up and said, girl, get in the bed. You know, because I had just fell asleep on my knees praying because, and this is not to brag or be seen bodacious. This is to tell you, I do this for real. I don't have a choice. Let me tell you something. You go from glory to glory, faith to faith. The church is stagnant right now because so many people, we have allowed so much to infiltrate the body of Christ into the teaching. It's, that's no more conviction. And, and when it is a conviction, then you say judging. Come on, somebody, hallelujah, let's just be real. But if there's no conviction, then there could be no change. If there's no change, there could be no power. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah, you don't hear what I'm saying. So especially when it comes to the method on my life, it is a correction. It is a rebuke. Well, people don't understand God do it to me first. I need you to do this, Deanna. I need you to stay here, Deanna. I need you to do... You don't hear me. Honestly, I barely get sleep look like. But yet, the, the hours that I do get, I, I know God's hand is on me because I don't feel tired. I'm always in my word. I'm always praying for you, for me, for my family. I even pray for my enemies. You don't hear what I'm saying. For God says, his word says this. If you pray for your enemies, you, you, you heap coals of fire over their head. You don't understand what I'm saying. God puts them in position and place. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. God will rebuke them for you. You don't hear what I'm saying. But you have to sit still for a moment. A lot of you, I'm going to tell you what's going on, is a busy spirit and also a lazy spirit, which is contradiction, but it's the truth. Some of you, you don't want to read your Bible for more than, what, 20, 30 minutes? And you wonder why. Some of you don't want to pray for, what, 15, 20, 30 minutes, tops? Let me tell you something. You got to have a desperate spirit only when it comes to the spiritual things of God. You have to want this thing like this is your life. And guess what? It is. This is for your life. The devil is after you, honey. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you how he, that fool thinks. He knows this. I have but a short time. I'm taking them all with me to hell. That's just how he's thinking. And he's not playing. And he's been watching you. He know what you like. He know how you like it. He know when you like it. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. So you are in war. Not just with other people. But even with yourself. Because you have to be disciplined. You have to have self-control. I'm not, I'm not going to do this. I, I need to study my word. I need to. You have to have self-control and discipline like never before. In order to truly survive in this spiritual walk. That's why he said. In, in Timothy he said, endure hardness. Because it's going to get a little hard. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. But he said, endure hardness as a good soldier. You don't hear what I'm saying. We soldiers in this. Hallelujah. 
We was on them street soldiers. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You're doing what we do when we did how we did it. Come on, somebody. So how is it that in the body of Christ, it's hard. I I'm tired. And, and, and hold on. I, I get it. I get it. Because I have to be honest with you. There are times when I'm like, whoa, God, what's going on here? But then that's when he comes and he blow a fresh wind. <sighs> Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Hallelujah. And now the, tr the enemy in trouble for real. That's why I stay ready. I stay ready. Because I refuse to lose. That's it right there. You have to get in your mind, in your spirit, in your soul. I refuse to lose. I didn't came through too much hell. Hallelujah. I didn't been through too much. This can't be in vain. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. No matter who stay with me. No matter who go. No matter who talk about me. No matter who don't like me. No matter who don't love me. Y'all don't hear what I just said. This can't be about friends and family, by the way, because I'm going to tell you right now. Oh, I got to go here tonight and I ain't talking about nobody. But if you think I'm talking about you, God bless you. Anyway, let me tell you something. If you're a person like me, I don't let a lot of people get close to me, especially after all that stuff that happened. Y'all yeah, know what I'm saying. Let me tell you something. The enemy will, will, will start working in family members now. And now you're like, I'll be doggone. I'm going to tell you right now. And I love everybody. I'll cut you off so quickly and make your head spin because I refuse to lose. And I still love you. You don't hear what I'm saying. Hallelujah. Y'all better tick, tick, click, click. Y'all better, y'all better cut them off. Hallelujah. It is your soul that you must protect. It is your spirit that you must protect. Mother, father, sister, brother, cousin. I don't care. I got to stay connected to God. And I'm not going to let you make me miss God. Because let me tell you what's happening. You're getting offended. You're getting in the flesh. And flesh is a mess. So I got to stay strong for me and you. Hallelujah. You don't hear what I'm saying. You got to be strong mentally. I truly pray over myself. I, I put all in my hands. Another thing. Y'all stop putting all on y'all. Y'all stop praying over yourselves. Let me tell you something. This is a spiritual war. You better pray over yourself. I pray over myself. Father God, in the name of Jesus, keep me mentally strong, spiritually strong, physically strong, Father God. Let me be strong in the word, strong, Father God. And then I pray over my ears. Father God, I don't hear the devil. I hear only your voice. When he tries to whisper, Father God, let me, let, let me annul and, 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 and terminate every thought. Oh, you don't hear what I'm saying. You got to pray over yourself. Hallelujah. Father God, let me have a heart of love. Despite what they say. Despite what they do. Y'all don't hear what I just said. Hallelujah. You got to pray over you. Y'all seeking people out. Let me tell you something. You don't know what them people doing in their closet. Because everybody that say, Lord, Lord, unfortunately, some of them, <laughs> what they doing in a secret place. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. And then I pray over myself. Father God, give me a spirit of wisdom and discernment. And, 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 this is, and I say this over and over, and you'll hear me say this. Whoever, I don't care who comes into your life, and I need you to really hear me. You're supposed to say, Father God, who is this before me? Did you send them, or did he send them? And then act accordingly. I ain't saying be ugly to people, but I, I let them devils know quickly. Don't play with me. Hallelujah, you don't know what I'm saying. Don't play with me. I'm not the one you want to play with on any level. Yeah. Too many of y'all letting them devils get too close to you. And, and I call them close cuts. What is close cuts? They sticking you. They sticking you in your emotions. They sticking you in your financial. They stick. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. And, and then you, ooh, ooh. No, 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 no. You got to like you the matrix. I, I wish I could do what Neo did in that matrix. You know how he did that, that thing? <laughs> you got to be dodging. You got to be bobbing and weaving. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. This is real. Because guess what? The enemy ain't playing. He is really trying to take you out, people of God. And if you don't understand, he's taking out our youth, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus. He, he, he's causing discord among brothers and sisters in the Lord. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. It's time for us to come together like never before. I am, I'm, I'm serious with this one. I ain't playing. I ain't playing. Hallelujah. What we going to do? What we going to do? We're going to allow this. Or we're going to come together and fight in unity, in prayer. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So go ahead. God bless you. Gird up your lions like a man and woman of God. Stop crying. Be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. You know who you are. And if you don't know, you need to ask Jesus. Hallelujah. Check that before you wreck that. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Ain't nobody playing with the devil. It's for your soul. Let me tell you something when I got saved what God told me. He said, guard your anointing at all costs. I never knew it would cost me some of the closest people in, to my life. I'm serious. I never, I never knew it would cost me a husband too. I mean, I'm just being real with you. It cost me a lot. And yes, I cried, and I was like, I didn't understand. But then I, I, I realized something. It's not about Deanna. It's about what's inside of Deanna. That don't even belong to me. It belongs to him. He wants to use you. 
He wants to use you. But here's the deal. Here's the deal. Pruning is done alone. And a lot of you, y'all want to stay attached to something that God is saying. Let go. Let go. Because to truth be told, the world, everybody wants to, you know, like even on Facebook, everybody likes to. And we were, we were made to, be, to, to worship God and to be in fellowship. But there are times God will call you. Come in. He'll call you to be set apart. And that's the hard part because, truth be told, you start feeling lonely. The enemy starts messing with your mind. That's when you really got to be fasting. That's when you really got to be praying. That's when you really got to say, God, keep me. God, keep me. God, keep me. You got to guard your anointing at all costs. That's real. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. It's nothing but love. It's nothing but love. And let me tell y'all something. I don't know. I know y'all saw me put it on Facebook. This is not just a, um, what would I say, a commercial, a plug-in. That conference that's coming up, I'm going to tell you what does say the Lord, and I'm not lying. God said that's going to be the most powerful conference you've ever done. He said, because I'm going to take complete control. You know, and he already does because I don't play games. But I feel something different. I'm not even lying. I feel it. I've started consecration now, and it's, what, almost two months away. I ain't even playing. I'm coming. I'll, uh, God, use me. Let God, let, let them see God and not me. Because I'm telling you, that enemy been after me. And how I know, 15 minutes when I got off the phone, securing everything, I got attacked. I said, oh, ho, ho, he mad for real. And, and not only that, I'll be doing something different. I won't just be preaching to the adults. I'm coming for the youth. So bring your child, I promise you, especially, I'm going to tell you something, if they have a prophetic gift or even any kind of gift, I want to lay hands on these children. I'm tired of the devil snatching our kids. I'm not having it. I know it's inside of me. And that's why I'm coming. I'm coming with the power of God. God, use me. I, I, it ain't about Deanna. Don't, don't get it twisted. God, use us. Use us. Use us. Ain't nobody playing. It's time to stop playing, truth be told. And it ain't about us. We're not that great. But it's time for the power of God to truly, truly n n demonstration, revelation about it playing. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Let's do this for God. All right. Roll out soldiers because that is who you are.